If you could erase one thing to stop modern life in its tracks, magnets would be the top choice. They're everywhere, inside hard drives, speakers, microphones, motors, electric cars, and even in smartphone vibration motors. Magnets silently power modern life, with tiny ones in your phone stabilizing the camera and driving notifications. Without them, our world would be unrecognizable. Magnets are crucial for clean energy technologies, yet their supply, especially rare earth metals, relies heavily on China, creating a major geopolitical risk. To reduce this dependency, innovators worldwide are working on new magnet technologies that could transform industries and save the planet. Magnetic fundamentals and their power in modern life. Magnets are more than just science toys or curiosities. These incredible little objects are indispensable in making modern life work. They have an almost magical quality to them. From the tiny refrigerator magnets on your kitchen door, to the colossal magnets used in industrial applications, magnets are crucial. They help generate electricity, power motors, and enable cutting-edge technologies like magnetic resonance imaging (MRI) in medicine. Every time you play with a magnet, you might wonder why it has this irresistible force. It's a simple question with a complex answer. Magnets have a mysterious power. They either attract or repel objects without physical contact, a concept that seems almost magical. The basic principle of magnetism is rooted in physics, but in the world of engineering and industry, it is nothing short of revolutionary. To understand how magnets shape the world, let's look at their applications in clean energy technologies. One of the most common and important uses of magnets today is in permanent magnets. Unlike electromagnets, which require an electric current to generate magnetism, permanent magnets are naturally magnetic. They are formed from certain materials like neodymium and are crucial for generating the electricity that powers our electric cars, wind turbines, and even some of the devices we use every day. The role of magnets in electric vehicles and wind turbines. Consider an electric vehicle, EV. When the motor is switched on, electricity flows through the motor's coils, creating a magnetic field. But this field on its own doesn't make the car move. It's the interaction of this field with the permanent magnets in the motor that creates motion. The permanent magnets generate their own magnetic field, which pushes against the central magnetic field, causing the motor's shaft to rotate and power the car. In wind turbines, the process is reversed. The wind's kinetic energy causes the turbine blades to spin, and the rotating blades cause a magnet to move around a central wire. This motion generates electricity. Essentially, the mechanical motion of the wind is converted into electrical energy via the movement of the magnets. The power of magnets is critical to both of these systems. Without magnets, electric motors would be inefficient, and wind turbines would be unable to generate power. This is why magnets, especially permanent magnets, are the cornerstone of many clean energy technologies, rare earth metals, and the Chinese monopoly on magnet production. Most of the magnets used in clean energy technologies come from rare earth metals, particularly neodymium. These metals are found in trace amounts in the Earth's crust and are challenging to mine. The issue becomes more complicated because over 90% of the world's rare earth magnets are produced in China. China's dominance in the rare earth supply chain isn't a coincidence. It's the result of years of strategic investment by both the Chinese government and private sector. China has built a massive infrastructure for mining, processing, and manufacturing rare earth magnets. This has made it incredibly difficult for other countries to compete. China's grip on the rare earth market has significant implications. As the world increasingly moves toward electric vehicles, EVs, and renewable energy, the demand for rare earths is rising. In 2024, more than half of the vehicles sold in Shanghai were electric, and most of these vehicles rely on magnets made from rare earth metals. As China's EV industry continues to grow, the demand for neodymium and other rare earth elements will only increase, and with it, China's control over global supply. The monopoly has led to significant vulnerabilities in the global supply chain. 
In 2010, a diplomatic dispute between China and Japan over fishing rights led China to threaten a cutoff of rare earth metal supplies to Japan. This resulted in a sharp spike in prices and showed the world how dependent the technology and clean energy industries had become on China. Since then, nations around the world have been scrambling to find alternative sources for rare earths to mitigate this risk. Europe's efforts to create a rare earth supply chain. To address this vulnerability, Europe is working to develop its own rare earth supply chain. In Norway, for example, there is a potential deposit of neodymium and other rare metals, which could help reduce Europe's reliance on China. However, the process of mining and processing these materials is expensive and time-consuming, and it may take decades before these new sources can meet the global demand. Additionally, many countries are beginning to explore new ways to recycle rare earth metals, including extracting them from old electronics. This could provide a more sustainable and less geopolitically risky solution in the long run. But the question remains. Can the world continue to rely on rare earth metals for the future of clean energy, or is there a better solution? The future of magnets. At the University of Minnesota, Professor Jianping Wang has been working on a revolutionary solution. Iron nitride magnets. Unlike traditional magnets, which rely on rare earth metals, iron nitride uses two of the most abundant elements, iron and nitrogen. If successful, this new type of magnet could completely bypass the need for rare earth materials, breaking China's monopoly on magnet production. However, developing a stable molecular structure for iron nitride is no easy feat. Many scientists have abandoned the idea, but Professor Wang and his team have persevered. After years of research and experimentation, they have made significant progress, developing a process that could eventually bring iron nitride magnets to market. This breakthrough could disrupt the global supply chain and offer a more sustainable solution for magnets used in electric vehicles and renewable energy technologies. Neuron Magnetics, the company founded by Professor Wang, has already secured over $100 million in funding. While the iron nitride magnets are still in the development phase, the potential for these magnets is immense. They could be used not just in electric vehicles, but in a variety of other industries, including medical devices and consumer electronics. And the best part? They don't rely on rare earth metals, offering a solution to the geopolitical and supply chain issues surrounding rare earth magnets. Fusion Energy while iron nitride magnets hold immense potential, the future of clean energy doesn't end with electric vehicles or wind turbines. The ultimate game changer in energy production is nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun. For decades, scientists have tried to replicate this process on Earth, and magnets are the key to making fusion a reality. Fusion reactors require powerful magnets to contain the superheated plasma created during the fusion process. To do this, scientists use tokamaks, donut-shaped reactors that employ magnetic fields to confine the plasma. But creating a strong enough magnetic field to contain plasma at the temperatures required for fusion has proven to be one of the biggest challenges. This is where the latest advancements in superconducting magnets come into play. Superconducting magnets are made from materials that have zero electrical resistance, allowing them to carry much more current without generating heat. This makes them ideal for fusion reactors, as they can generate stronger magnetic fields without the massive energy losses associated with traditional copper magnets. Commonwealth Fusion Systems, a company founded in 2018, is using superconducting magnets to create a fusion reactor that could change the world. Their magnets are the strongest in the world for their size and could make fusion power plants smaller, cheaper, and faster to build. The Road to Commercial Fusion Power Fusion power has the potential to revolutionize the global energy landscape. However, the biggest challenge is to achieve net positive energy, producing more energy than the reactor consumes. While there have been successes in laboratory settings, fusion reactors have yet to achieve this milestone on a commercial scale. Nonetheless, fusion startups like Commonwealth Fusion Systems are optimistic. The company has raised nearly $2 billion in funding and plans to have a working fusion reactor by the early 2030s. The potential of fusion energy is vast, 
offering a virtually unlimited clean source of power that could meet the world's energy needs for centuries to come. However, fusion energy is still in its infancy and it may take decades before it becomes a reality. The road to commercial fusion power is long and uncertain, but the breakthroughs happening today are laying the foundation for a cleaner, more sustainable future. Magnets are not static, they are constantly evolving. Whether it's developing new materials like iron nitride or using superconducting magnets for fusion power, the future of magnets holds incredible promise. These invisible forces at play are not just fascinating, they are changing the way we generate and use energy. As the world continues to move toward clean energy, the role of magnets will only become more critical. The innovations happening today could shape the future of transportation, energy generation, and even space exploration. The trajectory of magnet technology is just beginning, and its impact will resonate for generations to come. Whether it's powering electric vehicles, generating clean electricity, or enabling the impossible dream of fusion power, magnets are leading the way to a brighter, cleaner future.